The next thing we want to make sure that we have covered in our profile is our contact info. So when you go to your profile, go to the blue contact info and you want to fill in as much of this as you can. So if we click on the little blue pen, you have your, I have my, my website and you can also add in other websites. So for example, um, I've got a, let's see if we just remove that one. So type other. Um, so you've got the main website, which is my company. I've got my podcast website and I've added in other. And then you can add a third one and that could be um, LinkedIn profile mini course. And that would be company. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's the name of it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go and grab that URL and paste it in here. And it is, it's not a company, so I'd say it's portfolio. Um, and we will have that in, now we can't say, you can't change the name of that, which is unfortunate, but um, then you've got your phone number, I've got mobile in. I don't have my address in. If you have a physical address, absolutely add it. Um, add your email in and your Twitter and if you have instant messenger. I don't have birthday visible to other people. I have it just set to myself. And that is how you add all that contact info. So let's figure, let's look at how we add or edit our Twitter account in here now. So it's slightly strange because you have to edit your Twitter account elsewhere. So if we close this down, we go to me and we'll go to settings and privacy. And we are then looking for, um, on your account, we're looking for partners and services. So down, so account preferences on the left-hand side, partners and services, uh, Microsoft and Twitter. So if we go in here and change, you can have manage your Twitter information on your LinkedIn account um, and display on your profile. And if you have more than one, you can have this one as your primary one. And display in your profile, sure, why not? And that is that. So if we go back to LinkedIn, and we have a look at my profile over here. All right, so interestingly, I don't see that displayed on my profile, <laughs> but it is um, in here. There you go. All right, so that's how you add in your um, Twitter account as well to your profile. So make sure you do fill in this contact info because it's really easy for people to see then how to reach out to you. And I'll show you how this looks for somebody else in my network. So let's click on my network and we will go and look at my connections. And let's look at, so who will we pick? Let's look at Mike. And we'll go to Mike's contact info. And so not only does it give me Mike's profile, website, and email, and Twitter, it also tells you when you connected with that person. So I've just recently connected with Mike. So that information is on the contact info of all the people in your network. All right, I hope you find that useful. Let's go to the next training.